Okay, uh, when you're out for a walk, maybe you've got a dog that pulls. If you've got a big dog, they could actually pull you over. So it's really important that you teach them how to walk on a loose leash. Now, dogs don't naturally know this. So, uh, when you're told by other trainers to give leash pops and to pull and you know, that's just absolutely plain stupid. You're punishing your dog for something that you haven't taught them. You need to teach them what it is that you want them to do. They may eventually learn through punishment that, okay, if I stay here, I don't get choked. But isn't it nicer to actually reward your dog and help them to learn? So, the position for the loose leash, it could be on your left, it could be on your right. And actually, it could even be in front or behind. I don't mind that so much. What I want, though, is that the leash is going downwards and forming a U or a J shape from my center coming up to test collar. And that is a loose leash. If the leash is like this, then it's starting to get tight. You don't want that. So that is the distance. And to be honest, I don't actually mind where the tester is here, 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 or here. Um, if we're out for a walk and I'm wanting to walk quickly and I'm not wanting to get tripped over, etc., then I will ask Tessa to come round, Tessa round, so that she's on my left side like this, and then I'll keep her to the left side. But if we're just having a little bit of a wander and a sniff, as long as this leash is loose, then that's absolutely fine and that's okay with me. So how are we going to teach this? Well, how you're going to start is like this. You're going to stand next to your dog or in front of your dog and you're going to click and reward. Now you might think, why is she doing that? I'm rewarding her just for being in this position. She doesn't know it yet, but she's going to get the idea that she's in this position, she's getting rewarded. So I want you to repeat and repeat and repeat that. You can obviously use your mark word instead of the clicker. You could just say, yes. Yes. Now once you've got that, and your dog's not moving around, and they're staying with that U shape, then you can add some movement. All I want you to do though, Facing your dog, I want you to take one to two steps ma maximum backwards, depending on the size of your dog. Little dog, one step is going to be enough so that your dog has to move. With Tessa, I may need to take two because she's quite big. Okay, and I'm going to encourage her to follow me. Tessa! And I'm going to mark and reward. Tessa! Good girl. Tessa! Tessa! And what I'd like you to do is try and get a reward in every three seconds. Okay, that sounds like a lot, but you need to constantly reward in order for them to get the behaviour. Tessa! Good girl. Tessa! Yes. Good girl. Tessa! Tessa! Yes. Good girl. She doesn't follow as long as the leash is slack, it's fine, but only mark as she comes towards you. Tessa! Tessa. Yes, good girl. Now, once you've got that, what you can do is change your position to the side. So you're going to start off with your back away from your dog, so that you're facing your dog. You're going to take that step, but then you're going to turn round. So let me show you. Tessa. And look, she's in position. We're then going to go straight back to this. And Tessa. 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 So I'm walking away and turning. Yes, good girl. Tessa. Tessa. Yes, good girl. Tessa. Yes, good girl. Very nice. And one more. You ready? Tessa. And you spin around so that you're at the side. And while she's there, you mark and reward. Okay. Sit. Good girl. <coughs> so, the leash is loose all the time. Try and reward every three seconds. Okay? 
If your dog doesn't get it, go back a step and go back to facing them. So, I'll just show you that again. So, I'm going to start off facing her. And as she comes forward, I'm going to turn sideways so that I'm then at the side of her. And I'm going to mark her reward when she's at the side of me. So, and encourage them. Okay, Tessa. So, you see, I'm getting her in the correct position. Tessa. Tessa. And round, mark, and reward. Tessa. And round, and mark, and reward. Good girl. Okay, one more. Tessa. And round, mark, and reward. Okay, once your dog is really good at that, you can try doing it from this side position. And you can take a step forward. Tessa. Yes, as she comes forward, you mark and reward. Tessa. Mark and reward. So as you can see, I'm not giving her any cue really. I'm just saying her name in a good friendly, excited way to encourage her to come forwards. Tessa, good girl. And I'm using my clicker, but you can use your mark word. Okay, Tessa, yes. Tessa, yes. Just one step, mark and reward. Once she's got that, you can add in two steps. Ready, Tessa? Tessa, yes. Good girl. Tessa, yes. Good girl. And as you can see, she's getting rewarded every three seconds. She's sticking with me and that lead is still in a J. So that's how you start off teaching your dog to walk on a loose leash.